Hello everyone, welcome to my After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to create this. Open After Effects, go to the project panel, create a new composition. Change the corp name to main render. Preset custom with 1920 height 1080. Change the frame rate to 50 per second and set the duration time to 10 second longer and click OK. Again, create a new composition. Change the composition name to text. Bin composition size and click OK. Go to the main render, right click, new, choose solid, change the solid name to BG. Big composition size and click OK. And again select the text composition, go to the toolbar menu, select the T icon to create a new text. Type any text as you like, I am typing outro. I'm using font called Mont. You can download anywhere in the website. It's absolutely free. Set the font size to 200. Now go to the main window. Select the text composition. Drag and draw on the timeline. Now select the text composition layer. Press enter to rename the layer. Type main text. Now you can change the label color to pink. Now hold Ctrl or Command D to duplicate the layer. Rename the layer to text1. Now this time I am going to change the label color to yellow. Now select the text1 layer. Hold Ctrl or Command D to duplicate the layer. Bring the main text up above and adjust a few settings as shown. Now select the bottom text layers. Hide the layer and move the layer at one second. Now select the main text layer, press S to open scale property, create a keyframe. Now move the keyframe at one second and at the first frame, create a keyframe, change the scale amount to 150. Now select all keyframes, press F9 to easy ease. Open the graph editor and change the graph value to something like this. If you don't find this edit speed graph, make sure to right click and enable the edit speed graph. Now unhide the other three text layer, select the text one layer, solo it. And again select the text one layer, go to the toolbar menu, select the rectangle shape, draw the mask something like this. Invert the mask. Now open the mask, change the mask feather to 25 pixels. And also change the mask expansion to 25 pixels. Make sure to select the mask and adjust the mask shape to something like this. Now select the mask, copy it, and again select the text and text 3 composition layer, paste it. Now unsolo the text 1 layer, select the text 2 layer, solo it again, and press M to open mask property. Make sure to select the mask property and change the mask position to something like this. Again, unsolo the text 2 layer, select the text 3 layer, solo it again. Again, press M to open mask property, select the mask and change the mask position to something like this. Now select all three text layer, press P to open position property. Now come back one second. Create a keyframe on position property. Go forward at two second. Again create a keyframe and change the X position value to something like this. Again select the text two layer, change the X position to something like this. And again, select the text 3 layer. Again, you can change the X position to something like this. Now, 
Now select all keyframes, press F9 to easy ease, open the graph editor and change the graph volume to something like this. You can change the animation style by offsetting the layer to do that. First go at one second. By pressing page down button, move forward three frames. And again move the text layer. Hit the spacebar button to preview. You have to do the same process for the other side also. I'm going to fast forward this. Now hit the spacebar button to preview. And finally, let's start creating this glowing line animation. Before that, let me tell you about this interesting effect called Saber. It's really amazing. I really love this effect. You have to download it. It's absolutely free. I'll give you this free download link on my description. Make sure to download it, okay? After downloading this Saber plugin, First, select the main text layer, open the layer by double clicking. Now right click here, new, choose solid, change the solid name to saber. Make composition size and click OK. Now go to the effects and preset, type saber, drag and drop on the solid layer which we have created now. Now change the glow intensity to 65, 0.55. Glow bias 0.35 or 25. And finally, code size is 2.35. Now open the customize code, change the code tag saber to text and text layer to outro. And finally, change the start size to 25 or 35. Hold Alt, click on the mask definition to open the expression. Type, type, asterisk, 100. I want the glowing direction and glowing spread should be inside the text, not the outside. To solve this problem, go to the effects and preset, type, set mat, drag and drop on the saber solid layer. Now you can change the take mat from layer, saber to outro. Looks good now. And finally, don't forget to apply the glow effect on the text layer. No need to change any settings from the glow effect, keep as default. Now you can change the glow color to red or white or green or blue, any color as you like. Now go to the main render, hit the spacebar button to preview the entire project. I hope you all enjoyed my After Effects tutorial. Consider to like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to follow my Instagram page also. Thank you so much for spending valuable time by watching this After Effects tutorial on my YouTube channel. See you on next video. Stay tuned. Thank you.